So one of the things that we've been trying to do over the past few years is to uh, move towards greater innovation in teaching. Much more um, participative forms of learning uh, where the teacher is kind of, if, if you like, providing you with resources but relying on group work or guided seminar work and so on to go from those resources to the kinds of knowledge that uh, you would hope to arrive at by just giving a lecture, but which by discovering it for yourself, um, you're far more likely to, to learn well and remember. We have a two hour lecture format, which is great because it means we've got the potential to do all sorts of different things. So we've shown films, we've had class debates, we get the students doing group presentations, we've had guest speakers. It's an online course, you can do the whole thing online. You don't need to come to lectures or tutorials if you don't want to. On the other hand, if you need the support that you get from lectures and tutorials, they're there. You have a course that is entirely peer assessed, it's entirely based on uh, students going out and working in groups doing fieldwork style projects. So one of the things that we've tried, uh, tried to do in rethinking the way we assess the courses that are taught is to move away from our traditional reliance on simply exams and essays and to think about uh, skills that might be useful to students once they've left university, once they've entered the world of work. They wrote a policy brief um, which had to be presented in the style that it would be if you worked for the OECD or the ILO or somebody, somebody like that and that was part of the assessment criteria, how professional it looked and how well the data was, was actually presented to have visual impact. And then the assessment is to have a 12 minute presentation which is a research-based presentation, so they use all their skills in PowerPoint and projection, that sort of thing. So I encourage students to uh, submit blogs for their assessment based on research they've been doing. And recently I wrote up some of these blogs along with my students into an academic article that was published in a leading online research journal. So another aspect of this innovation in marking is to move away from standard paper exams and paper essays and to use uh, electronic submission and electronic marking. What we do now is we ask students simply to um, write their essay in, in, in a Word document as they normally do, but then instead of printing it out, instead of going to that trouble or indeed coming into the university, they can upload it on an online portal, secure online portal. We then read and mark that electronically and return it with comments and a mark electronically. And then that portfolio can also be used to uh, show to prospective employers in the future.